Here with Raya Kashinsky to preview the 2024 Concordia cross country season. Uh, as as we record this, it's only been a couple of days of, of official preseason, uh, but the season is uh, coming up pretty quickly. Um, first of all, I, I know it, it's it's a long a long season, a long school year when you're involved in cross country and track. What what were you able to do this summer to to have some fun and to get away from it all? Yeah, um, this summer I just spent a lot of time with friends and family. Um, visited a lot of uh, my family members and went on family vacation. Um, went to a lot of weddings this summer. Um, but it was just nice to be able to kind of get away from the work of school and just the grind of running sometimes um, and like running different places. So yeah, just spend a lot of time with family and friends, I would say. Uh, you're a native of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, I know there's some other Indiana mm -hmm. natives on the, the track yeah. cross country group. Uh, how did you end up at coming to Concordia from Indiana? Yeah, um, so I went to Lutheran High School and I knew that I wanted to go to a Lutheran University as well, um, just kind of foster my faith and continue growing in that way. Um, Concordia has a great education program and so I knew that I would wanted to go into teaching and so that was a strong pull as well. Um, and I knew that athletics would be um, something that I would also want to pursue if that was uh, a possibility. So I chose Concordia um, also because of the good running program that's here. Um, and just the, the community, I would say. Like, when I was on campus, I didn't feel like I was 11 hours away from home. Um, and so the community and the atmosphere um, of Concordia was um, definitely a good fit for me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you, you've been part of uh, plenty of, uh, of team success at Concordia, uh, cross country and, and track. Uh, those kind of things are kind of obvious for, for people to see, but, but what what about the experience other than that has made it special? Yeah, um, I would say just kind of gaining those lifelong friends um, through the team and as soon as you come to Concordia and you're like on a team like those people already become your friends and so you're already surrounded with this great community of girls um, and guys that um, have just they're just building each other up every day um, and you just like come to practice and see your friends which is super amazing. Um, so yeah I would say just the, the friendships is what kind of what makes it. So. I think people maybe who have come to track meets at Concordia have probably seen you you cheering in a big way for, for your teammates. If you're not racing, why is that uh, something uh, important to you? Yeah, um, I just think encouraging one another and like you always kind of, I know that I notice those people that aren't in my event group that cheer for me. Um, and so I know that I feel like you kind of gain momentum in your races and stuff when you hear other people cheering for you um, and just kind of like pushing you along the whole way. And um, I think that's kind of what it means to be a teammate is just encouraging and building each other up. And it's it's more fun to stand and cheer for your teammates than sit and be by yourself. Um, and I think that's kind of another way that you kind of create those connections and friendships with people that maybe you don't see all the time is that you're like, oh yeah, I cheered for them when they were in the ring or I cheered for them when they were you know, long jumping down the runway. Um, and so, I don't know, it just, it kind of adds a bigger team aspect when you get to be, be part of something that's bigger than yourself. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, not easy to cheer during a, a cross country meet, yeah. <laughs> uh, though, for, for you when you're running. Uh, you know, from a, a cross country perspective, I had a chance to go to uh, Vancouver, Washington a year ago for the national meet. Uh, what, what stood out to you about that experience? Um, yeah, uh, it's definitely different when you have a smaller group of people traveling, you just get to be able to be closer with them. And it's great to have all of the girls on the team, but then you can really kind of focus in on a couple people that you may not know or may not have friendships with outside of cross country. Um, and then just being able to travel is such an amazing experience. And being at Concordia, like we're very blessed to be able to have those um, experiences and have them just accommodated for us. Um, so being able to be on the West Coast, I thought was such a neat experience for me. I've never been out that far before. Um, I thought just the community within the GPAC I thought was very neat to be able to go out there and cheer on those people that you typically run against. But since you're on such a larger scale, um, it's very neat to be able to see those familiar faces who you typically um, race against and kind of come together as you know GPAC 
teammates almost um, and be able to kind of just run along them. But it's definitely a very neat experience to be able to say that you ran against some of the best runners um, in the NIIA. Um, it's very humbling to see so many people there and just all of the support that people give when you get to that point. So. Mm -hmm. When you first got here, you may never have thought you'd have been competing in your home state ever, but uh, that happened, I guess, with outdoor nationals. What, uh, what was special maybe about that yeah. experience too? Um, yeah, that was probably one of the most special things and the biggest things that I'll take away from running here. Um, it's really cool to be able to get to nationals and tell your teammates like, hey, I ran against them in high school or I know them. Um, because like when you're this far away, you don't really run against people in high school for regular meets. Um, so going to nationals and seeing people that you ran against in high school is very cool. Um, it's very, really neat when a lot of my family and friends were able to come um, because they can't typically come to meets that are out in Nebraska. So that was, that was really cool. And just being back on almost like home turf um, was really cool to be able to, you know, see friends and family um, and run somewhere that I've run before, which, yeah, so it was a really neat experience. Mm -hmm. uh, well, as far as this year's cross country team, I know uh, every year you, you're going to say goodbye to some people who graduate, some that had a big impact. Um, uh, I think you're someone else, people already felt like was a, a leader on the team, but how do you take it upon yourself um, now that you are a senior and, and maybe some of the other people that came here before you have now gone? Yeah. Um, I feel like we had some pretty strong seniors last year. Um, obviously without Kylan, Julie, and Riley, um, and other seniors among them, um, it's it's definitely going to be some big shoes to fill, um, both with those positions and the leadership skills that they brought. Um, and I think we really need to do a good job of just like encouraging everybody and being one team um, and not trying to like separate off into like different groups all the time. But I think that we're already doing a really good job of that. Like I think so far, I mean, we've only been at camp for like a day or two, but um, I think we're doing a really good job of having unity, um, which is kind of in our theme as well for this year, which is, it's just neat to see that already in practice. Um, so I would say being encouragers, um, being just servant hearted all of the time, um, and just kind of taking that whole perspective of like being a team and being friends overall, um, and then that running is just a small part of that. Um, and so we're looking out for everybody all the time, and running is just another part of that. Mm -hmm. You said team unit, or unity is, is kind of the theme. Yep. Yeah, so we, we decided on a, on a theme, um, and it's actually unity and humility, and so it's kind of the same general idea of like um, being united as one and encouraging one another, um, not putting our oneself or one's goals above the team goals. Um, and so, yeah, we've done a really good job, I think, so far of just kind of um, embodying that and bringing that to practice and to just bonding as a whole. Mm -hmm. Well, I like you said, it may be hard to, to really say a lot about um, impressions from preseason when we're so, so early into it. Um, and you've been around the, the competition uh, at this level now for a few years, so what, what can you say about what it's like uh, in the GPAC, whether it's cross country or track? Yeah, um, I think the GPAC conference is very, very competitive. Um, there's a lot of really good runners within our conference, um, and it makes getting out of conference to nationals pretty tough. Um, but I think that we have a really strong base for where we're moving. I think a lot of the girls have come in with a lot of um, mileage under their belts and have just really put in the work this summer to be able to kind of keep growing as we move through camp and into preseason um, and into the whole season. Um, I think that will be very solid. I think we'll have the numbers to kind of field a lot of girls out on the cross-country team as long as we stay healthy. Um, but I think we'll be really good um, competitively in the GPAC this year. Um, it would just take a lot of hard work and determination to kind of just keep us where we're at. Mm -hmm. Along those lines, have you started to establish some goals or is it maybe you're just focused on kind of the process right now? How yep. How is that going? Yeah, um, we haven't had a ton of meetings yet, just being super early, but I think a big goal for us is just seeing how high that we can get to that GPAC conference meet. Um, it would be great for us to come in first, but if first isn't there, then second and third and all of those um, kind of 
coming after. We just really want to be, you know, competitive, but uh, among anything else, we just want to be good teammates and kind of build each other up and continue working together. So, um, yeah, we haven't really set a ton of goals yet, but I think those are coming in the next meetings. You, you talked about um, this feeling like, kind of like home, even though you're an 11 hour drive away. Um, what what have you found that, that you've really enjoyed about the Concordia community and maybe the Seward community uh, yeah. as well? Yeah, um, I feel like in the, the Concordia community, there's just a lot of people that you can find that are very like you um, and you can kind of relate to them in those ways. Um, I, I was an RA and so I feel like a lot of my friends I found through those different communities of like being an RA or being on a team. And I feel like Concordia does community really, really well. Um, and kind of on the broader scale of Seward, I think Seward also does community really well. I think the community cares for all of the Concordia students. and I mean, St. John's does dinners and desserts and all of those things for, for students here and many of the other churches and organizations do as well. Um, so I think overall community is what makes this place what it is. All right, last thing, can I get a SCO dogs? <laughs> SCO dogs. <laughs>